there should be mirrors for children to see themselves in the world because kids know who they are at a very young age. Number one, proven. Number two, they should have windows to look through and see people who are not like them. And there should be sliding glass doors to invite them through. And that, says Kate Oakson, is the entire premise of the state's LGBTQ inclusive curriculum that was signed into law one year ago and required for all school districts to adopt. Yeah. Schools were supposed to, in September of this year, be adopting um, measures and instructional materials. Okay, so policy should have been in place and instructional materials should have been improved statewide. But Oakson says the COVID pandemic forced schools to find creative ways to deliver even the most basic core curriculum, leaving little time for adapting new LGBTQ material into their lessons. But all things considered, we're seeing the rollout of LGBTQ inclusive curriculum all throughout our state. And it's really exciting to know that there are young LGBTQ people participating in lessons where they see themselves reflected. We know when LGBTQ people see themselves reflected in the lessons, rates of bullying decrease. And it's not just good for those students, says Christian Fuscarino. We also know that it impacts non-LGBTQ students too, because they see people that are different from them reflected in the lessons, and that way they're not going to pick on someone because they're different. They're going to know that maybe their favorite computer scientist or their favorite author is LGBTQ, and that's a cool thing. How do you respond to people who say, um, I don't want my kids being taught about gender identity. It's confusing for a kindergartner and they shouldn't have to take on that kind of subject at that age. That's an adult already creating a taboo or creating some othering mechanism to talk about these things. We're really asking questions about how identity has impacted uh, Americans, uh, how identity has impacted people throughout history with the way that their inventions, their, um, their contributions have been perceived and what sort of fallout has, has occurred because they've been othered in these ways. The term othered meaning to view or treat a person or group of people as intrinsically different from oneself. Oakson acknowledges that not all districts are open to this curriculum and the law gives some flexibility. There is some subjective language in it that says where appropriate. And so when we're talking about middle and high school levels, every district is gonna respond differently based on their home community, based on past events in their district, based on their teaching staff. Sean Highland is leading an effort to give families the choice to opt out of this curriculum. There's a bill in the Assembly and the Senate that would give parents a voucher opt-out to go to the school of their choice if the public school refuses to accommodate their request to opt out of lessons and materials that violate their beliefs regarding sex, sexuality, and gender identity. He said his group has the support of people from many different backgrounds. We just want every student to be respected that whatever their belief system is, this for teachers to tell the students to respect one another. Unfortunately, it seems as though one belief system is stigmatized, which is the more the, the conservative historical view of sexuality, and only one is elevated and taught uh, as acceptable. The bill doesn't yet have a hearing. As for the desired LGBTQ curriculum, advocates expect a much stronger rollout across the state as schools resume fully in person in September. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Joanna Gagas.